Hey YouTube, this video is going to be on how to keep your knives sharp. First thing you have to do is get a good set of knives. These two here are from Victor and Knox, and they have the rosewood handles. Pony up for the rosewood handles. You'll never, ever, ever get a blister from using these no matter how long during the day you use them for. Your next thing you need is a good steel. This steel here is probably about 60 years old. Uh, it was purchased from F. Dick out of uh, Germany, well, West Germany at that time. Really nice, keeps a nice uh, sharp edge on your uh, knives. Number three, never chop, 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 chop. That's not good, that destroys your knives. Always use a slicing motion when you use these knives. If you're gonna chop, no, you can't use that. That's too heavy. That's for splitting heads. Uh, oh, another thing, very important, very important. Always cut on maple. Maple, what is the best cutting surface, period. Not because it's strong, but it also has a natural tannin in it that keeps bacteria from forming on it. You'll, you'll never see mold on uh, real maple blocks and everything. And try to get as big as you can as you afford. They, they're a little expensive, but the key is to have a surface that doesn't move. So if you can't get something real heavy, immobilize it somehow. You know, keep it from moving around. That makes you a much better uh, uh, cutter than they, when you have stuff sliding around. Never cut on plastic. Plastic is garbage. Uh, it, I think it was two years ago, even the White House finally got the clue and replaced all the plastic out of their kitchen and replaced it with maple. The final thing, to keep your knife sharp, only one person can use one set of knives. Do not let other people use your knives because that's what really dulls a knife. Everybody has their own cutting style and I know right away the moment someone had used my knife to do something with it. And also, just cut food with it. Don't open up boxes or your mail or anything like that. If you follow these steps, you're gonna have knives that are gonna stay sharp and be sharp for a very long time. And on this, if you're using them and if you store them well, you'll probably use that maybe once or twice a year, if that, but you still need it. Other than that, um, that's it. Take care.